Hey everybody, hey you're gonna love this one. Um, been wanting to play with the registry a little bit, this, this will break into it. Uh, what I'm gonna show you is how to, you know, uh, your computer gets bogged down after a while and a lot of times it's just because your cache is overloaded. And what this is gonna do is clean your cache for you. I'm gonna show you how to clean your cache. And you can, you know, it'll delete your temporary internet files. Well, let's see. It'll delete your history, your both your histories, your hidden history and your your local history. It delete your temp files, your temporary internet files. Um, it'll delete your uh, most recent, uh, your history of your most recent used files. It keeps a cache on that. And it'll it'll uh, restore your internet security settings uh, back to the default level every time you start your computer. And it's it's really easy to use. It'll delete. It'll uh, yeah. And it's really easy to use. And we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to set it up so you can use it automatically, or you can just download the the cache uh, back file and use it whenever you want to. You don't have to follow the video and do it automatically. Um, but over here you're going to see a description uh, with uh, two hyphens on it. Uh, before you watch the video or before you do what the video is saying in here, uh, copy and paste that little description of uh, it's going to say, you're going to see it says C colon that one. C dash cleanup dash cache dot bat. And you want to go ahead and save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it, just as long as you remember where it's saved at. And uh, and then just double click on it and it'll run the cleanup for you. But this the following video is going to show you how to set it up in your registry so it runs automatically every time you restart your computer. So you can either just double click on the bat file that you saved and it'll it'll run the cleanup for you, or you can watch the video and set it up in the registry so it runs automatically for you. But either way, it's it's gonna uh, you know it's a big difference in your computer, and you know it's safe, clean. You know I wouldn't show you nothing that would hurt your computer. Um, but I'm also going to show you how to make a backup of your registry before we go in and edit it so you can always change it back with the, just double clicking on the file. <clears throat> so we're going to save a, a file in your documents of the backup and we're going to name it uh, registry cache I think. And you just go in and double click on that file and it'll change your registry back before you edited it if you ever want to change it or you can follow this video again and go back and delete the uh, entry that we're going to put in there. So that's it. Um, all right, hope you all doing great and enjoy the video. Okay, you've saved the c-cleanup-cache.bat to your desktop. You want to right click on that and choose copy and then go to your start menu, my computer, right click on your C drive and choose paste. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is hit start, click on run, type in reg edit, click OK or hit enter, and highlight H key local machine, go to file, export, and we're going to have to give it a name, some reg edit cache. That's what, so I know what it is. Click save. And by default, it saved it to your documents. Okay, now it's saved. Now we're going to click on a plus sign next to software. We'll go down and find Microsoft click on the plus sign next to Microsoft. I'm going to go down and find Win NT, Windows NT. Click on that plus sign. 
click on the plus sign next to current version and we're going to go down and find when log on and click on that folder and then go down and click on user in it double click on user in it and you'll see it says C Windows it shows the location for your user in it file <clears throat> okay click right in front of the C and right click and paste C semicolon backslash C dash cleanup dash cache dot bat with a comma and you don't have to leave a space in between there you hit OK and close your registry editor alright see you guys later